Yeah, I grew up in Indianapolis. Uh, early life was on the south side, and then we moved uh, to the northeast side here. Yeah. But yeah, my, my life has been, for the most part, here. I had spent most of my time working in uh, editorial photography and doing the things that I enjoyed doing but uh, didn't have an outlet for. Uh, but then when the Harrison Center came into being and I met, uh, like I said, Jeremy and then subsequently Joanna and found my space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the tremendous opportunities that came out of here that I wouldn't necessarily have had had I been uh, roaming the streets on my own. I mean, I, I had to have a lot of nerve. I, I had no credentials. Uh, I had, uh, I didn't have a, um, a formal portfolio. I had a folder with some photographs that I had taken, and it happened to be good enough for people to be impressed by. Uh, but uh, knowing the rules, the, the protocol, I didn't have it. <laughs> so it was something that I had to develop as, as, as well as I did, because I still come in short. Uh, I mean, but there's been so many things placed in my path that were seemingly meant for me. Uh, the first house that my wife and I bought, uh, it was an estate settlement. We bought a 14-room house with all the contents for $13,000. Among the contents was a note from uh, Edsel Ford. There was so much stuff that the State Museum came. People from different parts of the world were writing me about stuff. It was an old German couple who had lived together 47 years and never married. And he owned two houses side by side. And he had his workshop in one house, and he lived in the other. And there was just Saturday evening post going back to 1925. I mean, it's just stacks of them. I mean, just everywhere. It was just so much stuff. I, I, no, I don't have plans for my life. Uh, I just follow the, the, the path that it leads me, yeah. I, I recognize the energies that that guide my life and I submit myself to them because they've not led me wrong. <laughs>